Now, if you're familiar with this series, you've already seen our overview video of Strange's line of drag strip specific disc brake kits. Well, I'm gonna drill down even deeper. We're gonna to talk to one of the experts here at Strange. Let's see where it takes us. This is Joe Okalanis. He's over 30 years here at Strange Engineering as the tech director. If you've got a question, he's the man to ask. Now, you know, brakes pretty much do one thing. They stop the car, right? Well, there's probably a lot more to it than that. What is specific about a drag racing brake package unlike other types of racing? The big challenge comes in is you don't want additional weight that's going to affect the performance of the car. But again, you've got a lot of energy that you're trying to get rid of. We have things that road racers never really do. We stage cars and sometimes in a turbocharged car, you're trying to hold the car. How about brake pad technology when it comes to holding a car on the line? Uh, you don't have heat coming into play yet. So the big concern is purely friction. So on the front brake pads, you want basically a soft metallic. All right, that's going to have the best gripping force onto the rotor. And then it's also too going to vary whether you're running a single piston caliper, two piston caliper, four piston caliper, you know, and then you're just increasing the clamping force and the surface area. Uh, they're going to be using the front brakes to hold the vehicles, uh, like a turbo car. All right, they might be using the rear brakes to help spool up the turbos, you know, before they take off. Now, I know that uh, traditionally, you know, we've had a transition toward drilled rotors, but now slots are all the rage. Why? Well, with a drilled rotor, all you're doing is losing weight, okay? But the metal still gets stressed, and over time, you can actually get stress fractures just because you're trying to open and close a hole as the rotor expands and contracts. By doing a slot, you're actually creating kind of a weak point, and you're giving the metal a place to go to. As it gets hot, it knows where it can expand and then where it could relax out of. So you're controlling the expansion and contraction of the rotor besides losing weight and also allowing more airflow through the rotor. So it kind of accomplishes many things. Now I know too that uh, Strange is kind of leading the way right now in composite hats where you have an aluminum hub and an iron or a steel rotor. Okay, with the two-piece design, you've got actual lugs on the rotor and the engaged lugs on the hat. It's made out of forged aluminum. You're still gonna have variances in expansion and contraction between aluminum and steel. That's why we do the cog design, and it appears to fit kind of loose. The concept behind this is if you superheat this rotor, all right, you don't have the hat pulling it on anymore because it's independent, all right, and then it'll just get hot and then cool down. Now, we took that one step further and we actually made a stainless version of that rotor. And there, there you can see the cogs more easily. And the thing with the stainless is stainless is able to handle a lot higher temperatures before it wants to warp or distort. Okay. And speaking of that, the brakes we've talked about so far are good for general purpose, all the way up to really fast door slammers and even rails. But how about those cars that run, say, 200 miles an hour in the eight and top fuel. You guys have products for them as well? Yes, yeah, Steve, let me show you our carbon brakes. For the most extreme applications, you know, this is when we get into carbon brakes. So we still got the floating rotor, but now we got carbon. Now carbon has an extremely high heat threshold that we'd never even experience before the material breaks down. Carbon, when it's cold, the coefficient of friction is lower than with steel, okay, so you don't have that holding capacity. So by running an extra pair of calipers and pads, you're kind of making up for that. But uh, it really comes strong when it comes to heat. Carbon brakes, unlike steel, as they get hotter, they actually perform better. I actually forewarn customers who are not used to them that with steel brakes, a lot of them get used to it as you get into the brake pedal, it'll start to fade a bit and you gotta push a little harder on the pedal. Carbon is gonna be the opposite. Now how about serviceability? We all know that you know a, a steel rotor can be turned a couple of times in its life. How about carbon? Well, carbon brakes, they actually have a very good life, but typical form, and we're talking about a car that races all the time in drag racing, okay? They'll usually go through two sets of pads a year, and by that time, it's about time to replace the rotors. Calipers, of course, are the other side of the equation. What have we got here? Well, this would be our Sportsman Carbon, but it's exactly 
exactly the same caliper we'd use for our steel kits. Okay, all we do is we add heat shields, okay, to insulate the brake fluid from all the heat that's generated from the carbon. Uh, these also, too, have staggered bore pistons. This we use because it helps control pad taper. Moving on from that, we've got our Pro Series carbon, and with that caliper, this caliper is made a lot stiffer, and it, it uses two-piece pistons. Okay, so the pistons are actually insulated. With our standard kit, our, the overall dimension of the kit is 13 and a 16th. Okay, so you'd have to check with your wheel manufacturer and say, okay, I've got a brake assembly that its major diameter is 13 and a 16th. Is that gonna fit your wheels? All right, the low profile kit is 12 and 11 16th. Okay, uh, the wheels that typically come to mind that there could be issues with are typically 15 inch beadlock wheels. Okay, so a greater range of fitment with the smaller caliper. Exactly. Well, I'd like to thank Joe Okalanis for helping us and answering my questions here at Strange Engineering. And to see more from our visit here to Strange, check out our other videos.